Hello, guys. Uh, once again, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives. We are still on our mathematics for grade nine. And in this case, we need to consider our term four as we are uh, to prepare our term four. We had our term three. Uh, some of us, some of you have given the feedback of how the tests uh, that we wrote how it went. Uh, so according to what you got there, please do revise. If you know you need extra time, find yourself that time to revise whatever challenges that you had in your term three. And where we need explanations, that's the purpose of the comment section. Let me know about that so that we can work on those areas that need or those topics that need to be polished up, questions which need to be done. As we know, our term for most of it is about revision. So this is what you're going to have. The first part, uh, you're going to be working with your transformation geometry. So make sure you do understand, work with the transformation geometry to recognize, describe, and perform transformations with points. You can transform points, line segments, and simple geometric figures on a coordinate plane, focusing on the reflection in the x or y axis, the reflection in the line y is equal to x, the translation within and across quadrants. Uh, you need to talk, uh, refer to that. But do not worry about these terms if you do not understand them, guys. Just know that we are going to be talking of what? Transformation geometry. Also, we are going to be talking about what? Area and perimeter of 2D shapes in this term 4. You need to know how to find perimeter and areas of polygons and also working with the circles how do you find perimeter and your area? Then also your surface areas and also the volume of 3D objects. You're supposed to calculate the surface area and volumes and capacity of rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, cylinders. You're also supposed to know that. So that's the major part of your term three. Then you go into revision just like that. I mean your term four. But, but it is, it does not end there because this is what you have as you are starting. So as you can see, it's just like from week seven, uh, that is like two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Then after that, it's revision. And take note now, revision and after that, formal assessment task, examination paper, paper one and paper two. So you're going to write an exam. Paper one and paper two. All topics from term one to four must be there. All from, from term one to four. Starting from term one. So make sure that you do revise everything as you had your term three. That's what they are saying. Remember your graphs in your term three. Remember your geometry of straight lines in your term three. Remember your geometry of what? 2D shapes and construction of geometric figures. Remember all that part that you had in your term three. They are saying, also remember your term two, what you had, your algebraic expressions, all that part of our term three, our, our term two, I mean, your algebraic equations and our functions and relations as we had them in our term two. They are saying, please, Revise also that because it's part of your examination. Also revise your term one, your whole numbers. You must, you are supposed to know them, your integers. Revise all those exponents. Revise all those numeric and geometric patterns as you had them in your term one. They are saying revise that. And by doing that, you are going to have your term four examination which is paper one and paper two so that's it guys from Mason african motives till we meet again